Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. That has a monster on there. Whoa! Checking some ice trouble. We have an official crap ton of ice right here. But we're always going to check as we go as much as possible. And I should have brought a normal hat with me. Sun's right in my eyes. And if you have a snow dog, always wear your leash. Nothing worse than this thing taking a leash. Come on. Still cold enough. Make the show. We're out on Winnipesaukee. We're going to drill some holes. Go for some Lakers and some white perch today. I am uh, in a spot that I know, and I can see two of my honey holes, which you guys have seen in other videos. You guys love those videos. Um, I released one last year that was like an hour and a half long, like a catch and cook. Go back and look at that one. That's I'm in the same spots. I'm gonna check the same spots. We got plenty of ice here, more than I expected, which is very, very exciting. And you may ask why I'm running the Alpha and not the uh, pistol bit. Well, the Alpha, is an ice auger, not a Milwaukee drill with an ice auger on it. It is meant to do this. It has better features. Ooh, 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 ooh. No. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got him. Got him. Yeah, guys, yes. First Lake Winnipesaukee of the year. And it's a fat one, too. Oh, I know if I just waited long enough, one would show up. I mean, this guy just barely, barely, barely showed up on sonar. But that's, that's a little, almost a full racer. He's, he's a little skinny. I'm gonna send him right back down here. And away she goes. Nice! Uh, skunk is off, folks. Skunk is off. Let's send down some chum. If there's one fish that's usually more. And what I use for chum is just uh, old shiners. Just chop them up, cut them up, tear them up, whatever you gotta do. Make sure that stuff sinks. Ooh, here comes a big mark. Here comes a big mark. Comes a big mark. Don't go after the chum. Always oh, going after the chum, you little stinker. Oh, that was a big laker. Come back. Come back. Oh, that was a bigger laker. All right, let's go try another spot. seeing fish they're just not coming this way the lake are creeping in over here Ooh. got him got him sneaky little bugger sneaky little bugger jeez I could barely see that fish what the hell Probably been just bouncing around today, just missing fish because I'm too impatient to stay still. Ugh. Well, there's a nice hefty one. Second one of the day, it's been a while for sure. But he's going right back in. Nice guys, nice. Let me drop down before I do any of that. We're using the, uh, the Winnie kit today. This is the seven mil chartreuse jig, which you guys always see me use. And this is the, I'm using the super glow today. Which I probably should just use, be using white since it's so bright out right now. But the couple fish that I have seen today actually ate it. So I'm not gonna change it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, shit. Hold on.
Got him. Got him. I was just about to leave, guys. Yeet him right on the ice. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at the size of the eyes on that one. That one's just filling in right there. He's getting a little bit bigger. Finally, I was just, just saying I was about to leave. And this guy snuck in and I was really tearing stuff down. Put it away. And this guy came in. He's got huge eyes. Nice fish, but he got huge eyes. This is a nice fish. Going back you know, big eyes, but a nice fish. All right, we'll get this like five more minutes. And then we'll leave. We're gonna go check a couple of spots. Oh, he just broke me off. Frick. Here he goes back down with a jig in his mouth. No. 12 pound test. I probably should have checked it after the last couple of fish here. Oh, that makes me angry. I've broken off multiple fish in this location. And you guys have seen what I've been using, right? So this this is the Winnie kit, which is smelt size bait. So they're two inches, basically two and a quarter when it's all rigged up. Uh, and it comes with five tungstens, and then it comes with five, 10, or 10, 20, 30, 40 plastics, uh, three different colors, glow, white, and uh, chartreuse. And they just slay Lakers. Now, everybody's like, oh, those little tiny baits won't catch you a big fish caught 30 inch Lakers on them or 28 and a half inch Lakers. I haven't got a full 30 yet. I'm working on it. So it's doable and you can find it right on my website, bendedfish.com. But that's what I use 90% of the time. And I do have some bigger baits available too. I just don't use them on Winnipesaukee because the bait in here is just so tiny that there's just no point. Um, I like people use about a half ounce bucktail. Uh, problem with New Hampshire is it's you know it's got to be lead free, and I have a Laker coming in right now. Which I'm not going to be prepared for. So folks, we're on a new location. A new part of the lake, the most, I think the most southern part of the lake, if you want to call it that. And we've got a bunch of people fishing, fishing around me. Or I'm fishing around them. I'm trying not to bother them, a couple of subscribers, which is nice. But I want to be set up on a bunch of rocks. And I guess I could just pop down the aqua view and actually take a look. But I'm going to at least set a cuss line here. So welcome to the Escape 2400 by Eskimo. This will be my third time sleeping in this. Actually, yeah, third time sleeping in this. And it is nice and cozy. So I have, I took out the bench seat that's in here. One, because it's super heavy. And two, because I rarely have somebody else with me. Uh, so I don't really need it. And it adds a ton of weight. So I took it out, set up my cot here, obviously. And yeah, we're gonna be jigging for burbot tonight as long as I can take it. So right now it's 6.24. I'll probably stay up till 10. Might go live on YouTube, depending on uh, what's happening. And I'm actually really hungry. And I bought myself breakfast slash lunch, a Dinky Donuts, bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh, they actually did put napkins in it. And the one this morning had like I get everything bagel, had no everything seasoning on it at all. This one's not much better, which is really sad. Really sad. But 
we're gonna warm this up on the Mr. Buddy heater. Slowly. Yeah, so we got chum down. We got some smelt right below us right now. And I'm not seeing any bourbon in the area, but I'm in a pretty good area. I have some, some rock around me. What I don't like about this style hub is its fabric is basically technically loose the way it's designed. So we can like fold up and flip over. So the sides blow in. And last time I slept in one, it was like blowing like 25 miles an hour and it was not fun. Still better than being in a hub, this 25 miles an hour hubs just like collapse and they want to, you know, do all that bad stuff. So I'm just digging a uh, glow tube, which I haven't actually glowed yet, which is kind of silly. All right, so it's nine o'clock and I'm gonna go to bed in about an hour, so I am toast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, my boots back on that I've been drying over the, over the heater and put the jacket on and go check the cuss traps that are right next to me. I do have some that are pretty far away and I don't feel like studying the snow dog and stuff. So we are just gonna go check those and I'll put you on the chest cam and we'll see if we have anything on there. If there is, um, I'm probably gonna keep one for tomorrow for a kitchen cook. I'm not sure yet. Let's go check. The Cuscaroni traps. Uh, so I got one right here, right next to me. We're not allowed to jig them, so we have to pull them all the way up. I think it's just, oh, well, that has got a monster on it, guys. That has a monster on there. Whoa! Whoa! Yes, sir, guys. Yes, sir. And look at that. Looking in his mouth. He actually has a crawfish in his mouth. Look at that. Piece of crawfish. He stink. There we go. First burbs of the night. And that's like, I don't know. 10 feet from me, not even. Oh, they are impossible to hold. First dirty burbs of the night, guys. Look at that. They're such a pretty fish and so underrated at the same time. So that one's going in the bucket for chowder. Another one right over here. Nothing on this one, but I got a Pull it up all the way. Sometimes they play possum. Nothing. All right, we cut the one bourbon. So we had uh, one for one out of six have something on it. But I have two dead shiners and like one little tiny one on there now because I just replaced that one. So we'll see what the morning looks like. I mean, it takes them a while to find these things. They literally have to like road around. They're not like lake trout where they're diving after these things and chasing them nonstop. But we're, what we're setting up now is called a rattle reel. And I don't know how common they are in the east where I am, but they're super common out west for like walleye and other species, basically while you sleep or just to have another, another line down. And uh, this one's by Eskimo, so put it in your shack. So you don't have to pay attention and when a fish pulls, it makes that little noise. So that's something comes on to it tonight it's gonna to wake me up all right it's 10 o'clock I'm completely shot and we got that one burbot I've not seen anything around here but we do have the rattle reel down first time trying that is tonight so we'll see how that works see if something actually wants to come in and uh, bite that little shiner that I have on there but we should have at least one more cusk in either direct that direction or that direction in the morning and uh, then we're gonna bounce around for Lakers so I'll see you in the morning. I think we have a, a bourbon on it. I don't know what time in the morning. 12.15 exactly. Oh yeah, 
to get a bourbon on. I mean, this is the smallest, smallest shiner ever. The dirty burbs. Stink. I don't know how long that thing is, but it's got a big uh, knob on the top of his head there. Okay, going back in. Alright, I'm going back to bed. Nice size burbot. But not, did not want to deal with him. All right, we are just waking up. It's about 7.30. Even though, stupidly, I had an alarm set for 6 and it's dark out at 6. So I didn't want to deal with that. Uh, I didn't sleep great. I never do. That's part of overnights, unfortunately, for me. I just don't do it often enough to like get into a rhythm of sleeping out here. I also have like a really, really nice bed at home that I really like sleeping in. Not a cot and side walls that are flapping in the wind all night. So we're gonna get up and uh, do some morning stuff, brush our teeth, eat something, and then we're gonna go check some test lines. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna have at least one on. Pretty sure. If we don't, I'd be really surprised. Another tip for you, when you get everything home, even my car, even though it does not have any water on it, right now it probably will by the time I'm done, sleeping pad, sleeping bag, cot, all go somewhere dry and then get opened up to dry out. Because uh, there's, it's a lot of humidity in here. I got about half inch of water on the bottom of the floor here, maybe even an inch. Just in the heat rocking and rolling and that kind of stuff, but. I really want to go chase some lake trout. I can see them on the screen here. Heating up a little water for oatmeal. I'm gonna have some really cold tea lemonade for breakfast. Done. Probably could have just done it on this to buddy heater, but didn't do all that stuff first. But I got some uh, some Quaker oats. Give this a little stir -ski. Well, I stayed just cold enough for uh, for the outside to freeze, but not the inside. I have a couple spots just past the point here that have good lake trout populations. So I want to go check those. One for a minute, and it's just a bucket. Empty. This is the one that had it on last night. Oh, it's coming on this morning too. I have to mark this spot. There we go. Another burbs. But oh, there's the dirty burbs. Nice one, nice pretty pattern. Alright, I only feel like laying one. Like any goes. Ooh, I got robbed. Not cool. Oh. 
Oh, that one's going on it. Oh no, it's getting bigger. Pretty colors though. Pretty colors. That wind is whipping. Going right back in. Should probably check the wind for today. See if it's even worth going out there and getting blown around. Got one at 60 feet. I'll wait till he either disappears or comes over here, but that wind is frigid. Here comes one. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, I lost him at the whole frickity frack. Dang it. See that overextended motion there? That was not good. All right, we're getting out of here, folks. If you want to see more ice fishing content, make sure you comment below and click here for a playlist of ice fishing. Click here for a playlist of lake trout.